Hey everybody, there was a, been a recent update to After Effects and uh, to some other uh, Adobe Suite uh, software that they, they've kind of made some kind of cool improvements. One of the really cool improvements that they made in the latest, uh, in the latest update, and that, this is on version uh, 17.5.0 about Adobe After Effects, is they've made some really good improvements on the content aware. They've introduced this like, gee, like a, a couple of years ago, I think. But, and I've used it on several shots and it's done a pretty good job. Sometimes it would it would not have some good results and sometimes it had fantastic results. And what content aware is, is the ability to remove something out of a moving shot like you do in Photoshop. With Photoshop, you can do it on a single frame. You can select something that you don't want in the image and you can um, use the content aware, content aware to get rid of something in a, in a single frame. With motion video, it's a lot more difficult, but they've kind of created a really cool algorithm. Whoever these people are that created this in, inside of uh, after Effects, they, they got to be geniuses because this is incredible what this what, what this does. And it's gotten a lot better. It has significantly improved over the, over the years. Because uh, I remember that this shot we, we used uh, to remove a, a drone shadow out of a shot. We got this shot of these guys chasing each other. And then there's this drone shot, this drone shadow that unintentionally got put in the in the frame. And uh, this was a couple years ago. And it was really easy actually to replace that. But then we, we started messing with this. And later on, I tried to see what would happen if you removed a whole subject. And you could see this weird wobbly line over it. It didn't really do a good job with this larger object. It did a better job with the kind of small, more predictable movement here where this uh, drone shadow, it did a pretty good job with the shadow. And actually, let's kind of, I'm gonna show how to do that. And then I'm gonna show what happens when we try to remove this person. It is amazing what happens. It, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. So anyway, let's get into it. So, all right, so I'm going to go for, we're gonna go under motion tracking and show you how to do a, and under the motion tracking, uh, one of the tabs here is we have this content aware here. And what you gotta do here is we gotta tell it what we want to eliminate. So we have to do a little bit of elimination. I'm going to go up to my pen tool here. Actually, I'll, with this, all I need is a circle and ellipse tool. Let's go, let's go ellipse here. And I'm gonna draw a circle over there. Now I've got the clip selected here and I've got uh, my mask tool on. So I'm gonna click and drag over the drone there, make it kind of big enough. I'm gonna make it even a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually make this a little bit bigger here. I'm gonna grab my arrow tool and I'm gonna make this a little bit, click in the middle to deselect the, the outer nodes, make this a little bit bigger just to make sure I got coverage of the drone because there we go. Okay, so I got good coverage of the drone there and that's what we're gonna be end up, end up removing. Uh, what I'm gonna do is go under my content, uh, my, my file here, the video file we're working on. I'm gonna tell it to show no mask. Right now it just shows the mask outline. In fact, I wanna change the color of the mask to make it a little uh, more obvious to see. Let's go red and kind of a dark red here and see how that stands out. Okay, now I can see that wireframe. And I do none just so I can see the entire image. So now I'm gonna animate this. I'm gonna arrow down and turn on my mask path and I'm gonna animate this. I'm gonna move it maybe right about to here and I'm gonna grab my mask and move it back onto the onto the drone. Let's, and it created a new keyframe here. So now let's see if it kept it in the entire time. See, it starts moving right about there. So let's move that up here and just do a keyframe in between. So there we go. So it's got a little more, it tracks onto, uh, uh, it stays tracked to it a little bit better. I'm gonna move it over here and animate it to right there. And then it interpolates in between and stick into the drone looking good. And over here, I'm gonna grab it and keep adding these keyframes. Maybe like uh, one or two seconds down the timeline, reframe it, one or two seconds down the timeline, reframe it, and then move it. And now it's gone so I can move that off. So there we go. Let's make sure that, that that the drone stayed in the frame the entire time. It did, so perfect. So that stayed, that stayed in the mask the entire time there. Now all we have to do is tell on this mask, we're gonna tell it subtract and take it out. So that, cause that's what we are removing. So now over here on the content aware, it has a little mask there on, on that sec section of the frame saying, that's what I'm going to remove. And I am going to generate a fill layer. It's going to create frames based on the image from over here and here around it and behind it. It's gonna take stuff from, from these things and skew it and fit it into here to perfectly fit into this image. This is where the magic happens. This is pretty amazing here. And what I really noticed as well, one thing that they did is this used to take like, uh, for a shot like this, this would sometimes take up to three or four minutes to generate the fill layer. And this is on my, on, on my old PC which is uh, Jesus, like a five, six year old uh, P PC um, with an updated video card. But this is still kind of an older computer and it is actually, and watch how fast it does it here. Generate fill layer. This is operating a lot faster than it used to. When I did this a couple of years ago on the same clip, it seriously took me about, it took about like three to five minutes to do this shot. And now it's gonna do it in under a minute. And actually that's probably about like 30 seconds there. So. And actually, this is what took so long is when it rendered the frames. It analyzed it and now it renders it and it is building this like super fast and this is on a crappy old PC.
it's finished. It did it in under a minute. And now, uh, and it created this fill layer that's on top here. So we turn this fill layer off. I've got the layer below. I can actually turn my mask back on to show what's happening here. So we're going to say uh, none here because it, it doesn't need the mask anymore because it's generated this fill layer. This, this fill layer is just basically this. These are a bunch of still images that is created to fill in that area and replace it with the, uh, with the drone shadow there. So let's turn this on. So yeah, you've got this fill layer on top here. See that? that that's what it's created and it's put it on top of my drone hiding it. So now watch this. Really, really nice feature. Got rid of the drone. It's complete, the drone shadow is completely gone like it was never there. Amazing. All right, now I want to show you what happens when I do the same thing to uh, that person. So I'm going to have that person run in here, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to create a, a mask over this person. So I'm going to just start from scratch and put a mask over this person. I'm going to do that same sort of animation that you just saw, but then I'll come back and show you when I've got the mask done. Okay. I've created the mask. I've got this mask over him, and I do the same thing. I kind of run through and make sure that his head or arm or something doesn't bleed outside the mask there at any point. And it's pretty clean. I've tested it. I've looked at it, and I've kind of undone the the the, uh, the drawn shadow here. I'm not worried about that. But I just wanted to show you what how powerful this is on this person. This all this movement. It's really cool. So um, all right. So I've got that done. I'm going to go arrange this under motion tracking. I'm going to turn his mask. So I'm going to subtract his mask. That's really important. You got to tell it to subtract or it doesn't know what it's trying to take away. So I'm telling my mask that I'm subtracting. It's gone. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to generate the fill layer on this subject here. Click that. Let it work. It'll analyze. It'll render all the frames and it'll come back and show you how awesome this is. Okay, all done. Uh, and let's play through the shot. That guy is gone. The guy running down the street. So this guy is chasing nothing. So I'm going to call this, instead of content to wear, I'm going to call it person murderer because it just murdered that person out of existence. It's like the Thanos snap and it just put, took him out of existence in the shot. So look at this. Here's, here's without the fill layer. Let's turn that mask back on because it's already, already done doing the processing. There's the original shot. And now, boom, he's gone. Completely gone. Incredible. And it did this really fast. It, it did that rendering in under a minute. And for an older computer, and actually, look at this. I just noticed this. You can see the guy, his reflection, a ghost run by in the reflection right there, and he's not on the street anymore. So two big, two major improvements that they made is uh, increased accuracy as far as being able to do a larger objects, like removing an entire person out of the shot, works really, really well, and also improved uh, speed. The algorithms that they've created for this, I'm not sure what they did. If they, like, worship the devil and got some witchcraft going or whatever to get this in, uh, implemented in the render engine, but it does a, it does it a lot faster and it does it a lot more accurate. So they keep improving on this. It gets better and better. I mean, even if I zoom up really close on this and look at it, it is tough to see where the edges of this thing is. I can't see any blurring or anything. This looks really, really good. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that improvement that they have recently with After Effects. If you have any questions or comments, please post them, and thanks for watching.